New CEO destroyed the company. We had an activist investor board member who wasn't happy with our profits and growth. So he had our CEO replaced with his hand picked protege. From day one, the guy was a show one T show. He would yell at people and talk to them like they were idiots in front of others. He spent millions on outside consultants, instead of listening to the people who have worked here for 10 years. He systematically laid off anyone who challenged him to make way for his people. Only problem was his people were useless. After only a year in his job, our Q2 earnings from this year were the worst they'd ever been. And our money in the bank was nearly depleted. So there was no path left but to sell for 10 what the company was worth when he took the job. Now half of us will get let go by the new ownership. These rich XX don't actually know anything about running a business. We're just toys to keep them occupied. I have been with this company since it was a 20-person startup. Watching everything I worked so hard to build fall apart in a year is frustrating and devastating. I cannot begin to tell you how many angel investors that I have been involved with that turned into demon investors. I call them the one-hit wonders who, somehow, got successful in a business enterprise giving them the money, but not the brains to be a quality investor. Just because you sold a successful screw machine business does not mean that you have any clue as to how to grow a mobile app company, e.g. And don't get me going on the VC's vulture capitalists. As they are often worse. This was a backroom deal between your activist investor and one of their buddies, to decimate the value of your company so it could be purchased by the outsider at a 90 discount. It happens all the time, and yes, we are all just playthings for the rich. Yay capitalism. If this is a publicly traded company, the new management will have been installed by a hedge fund. The shares in the company will have been shorted. Hedge fund makes millions, you get screwed. They actually do know what they're doing. This was probably the plan. Those consultants were buddies of the investor and CEO, as are the new owners, who will offshore some labor or hire newer people at lower salaries. Or they own a rival company, and got your company out of their way. Something everyone needs to know, C-Suite are literally a deck of cards. They change roles with W snap of fingers and just get shuffled around with golden parachutes. It should be illegal. This happened at the last company I worked for. But instead of the CEO being replaced he was an useful idiot for the investors. All the suite except his wife was a revolving door of recommendations from VC's new CTO came in I left. And company burnt to the ground. Another reason for people that don't do any real work to not have any real work. More often than not it goes like this oh you're a CEO. Here's your Fisher Price phone, now go talk to Elmo while the adults work. I'm not saying all C staff are invaluable, but proof is to those who've forged themselves in the fires they throw others into. Holy fuck. Having an activist angel VC investor on board is a huge red flag in itself, 90 likely to fail. Consultants are such a waste of money. All they do is talk to the employees and then tell management what the employees said. Suddenly it's a great idea. It's called a corporate raid, it will be pre-packed and restarted under a new entity or the IP sold. The sooner you learn this lesson the better your career will be. After only a year in his job, our Q2 earnings from this year were the worst they'd ever been. And our money in the bank was nearly depleted. So there was no path left but to sell for 10 what the company was worth when he took the job. The dude probably finished off just fine, with plenty of money in the bank and a bonus even. That is how these things usually go. You helped build it up, but unless you have shares it was just a job and you are a replaceable peasant. They're actually compensated for destroying companies because they profit off their bankruptcy. It's called a bust-out scheme and is fairly common practice among consultancy agencies. BCG for instance is notorious for it. The board member brought in a CEO specifically to run up debt, and kill the actual business so someone I'm willing to bet they have ties to can buy up the assets for a fraction of its value. This is sadly a very common practice. The company was destroyed on purpose. Was it Boston Consulting Group? 
this was probably by design. The activist investor is a plant, for a rival that wants to buy the company cheap. It's a common tactic, and well documented. Amazon is notorious for it specifically. Maybe that was the plan all along same shit Microsoft did to Nokia. That's the rich fail sun ecosystem at work. Daddy's special boy needs a C-suite gig with a six-figure salary. If he was that bad and not replaced was put in that position to tank the business. So a particular individual could pick it up for a likely that insistent investor. He or his friends are just about to buy your business for pennies on the dollar. As soon as it is bought, everything could return to normal. Unless they sell off the assets, but they may have gained control to run it rather than just kill it. These rich XX don't actually know anything about running a business. That's why we call them the parasite class. They are all parasites, unable to be useful in even the smallest degree. Prime example as to why workers should own the means of production. Endless growth is a cancer. Sounds like a Boston consulting group BCG Hitman sent in to destroy the company. Watch this happen with a large transportation payment company that put a salesman in charge of a tech company he ignored reality, and said make it work, I think he was trying to prove how much smarter he was by ignoring the people doing the actual work. I left when they asked me to lie to a customer about monitoring we build for, and didn't really provide. I felt sad for the people that actually cared that worked there. Millions on outside consultants, you say? Let me guess Boston Consulting Group. Is your company publicly traded and a low-cap stock? BCG is a company that intentionally bankrupt low-cap companies while their buddies short it and they make billions. He spent millions on outside consultants. BCG? Name. And. Shame. What the fuck is the anonymous bullshit? Why is anyone trying to protect bastards? Was it Boston Consulting Group? Ah. This old maneuver. Sorry you're getting hosed, but this is a trick as old as time capitalism. This sounds like a tech company I left a year ago. The new CEO stepped in and replaced the founders of the company. It was obviously a deal made between all of them with little to no regard to the customers or the employees. The company has since lost 70 of its value. Most investors should be silent partners. Porter being in business is the ability to understand dips in the market. Most businesses have down seasons or slow months. It's just part of the normal business cycle. As someone with a marketing degree. Then how to take a lot of classes in economics, business management, sales and anthropology. I'm amazed how many corporate executives have no idea how to run a company. OMG I feel this. Ed Bustion took over Delta, and it has been profit over people ever since. His most notable out-of-touch move was a long-term partnership with Tom Brady to advise us on teamwork, motivation, resilience, and productivity. This coming after he alluding to 10 profit sharing and raises last year, which fell short at 4 raise and 5 profit sharing. Meanwhile, his total compensation salary, bonus, stocks, and dividends is between 14-17 million annually. The wealth gap infuriates me. I bet that new CEO was shorting his own company's stock, or it was an effort to offload bad debt of the other company onto the company aka hostile takeover. He did this on purpose. The company is most likely being shorted into oblivion and he was out there to make it worse. Put an inside man in, overpay bad consultants, ruin business, profit. These people are the leeches on America. What makes me absolutely sick is that you can guarantee the investor never lost a cent but will have loaded the company with debt leverage, got serious kickbacks from the consultants and will have done every tax wheeze in the book to make money from this investment. Vulture capitalists are a parasitical curse on society. They are beholden only to themselves and care only for numbers big even when that will kill the host in the medium term. You'd be surprised how many investors actually want to tank their investment if they have a means to short it. He'll be saddled with a multi-million exit package. Poor guy.